So hi, my name is Steve Richards. I'm my 14th year at Spring Grove Area High School. I am the Integrated Arts Center coordinator and I also teach film studies and video production. I've always felt as though I had amazing teachers. It convinced me that I was like, oh wow, I think I would wanna do this. I was a history teacher for 12 years, but I also embedded like more movie stuff. And then it rolled into, well, there's no AV club. TV studio was just a bunch of students and a staff member that volunteered. And like, hey, maybe you should um, start teaching like video stuff. Like I don't have a camera, let's buy you a camera. And then we started entering film competitions and they're like, well, let's make it a course. That's where it kind of evolved. It just was kind of a natural evolution. Hey, you, you have 160 students in your film courses, but they don't actually make any films. That's correct. Well, how can we change that? How can we get maybe not 160, but 30 kids, 20 kids to make stuff? We had all these opportunities that were taken away from us by a disease. Let's do, we can do every live stream. We can do every, you know, football. We can do every uh, soccer game. So we, we did. So this is part of the crew that will be setting up three live streams over the next 12 hours. We were like one of the only schools that I know of that actually droned junior high, cross country, and cross country. So that was cool. The kids just like, they saw it as a challenge. Like we can do this. You know, the class of 21 really hasn't had anything. We have, you know, no prom, no homecoming, no senior dances, none of that kind of stuff. So today we had our, we had our first pep rally, um, which was out in the stadium. So we were live streaming that and video capturing it. Is it really, really hard to coordinate those three live streams in one day? But we all kind of love it. We, we like the thrill of that. All right, so here we are, 2.40 in the afternoon. We have um, two, three more live streams tonight. There's, uh, we got varsity baseball senior night here with a call at three o'clock. Um, then that game will go to about six. And then there is a, a middle school choir concert. And then there's also a middle school instrumental concert. We know that the greater good is to help and serve our community. We'd have community members that would come up to us and be like, you guys rock, like this is so awesome. Spring Grove is, I think, a very tight knit community and they, they show up for our events, they show up to support our students. And, and when the pandemic took away that opportunity for, for most people, uh, that, was, that was a very negative thing for our community. And so the fact that um, our, our advanced video journalism students, um, you know, under Steve's leadership, were able to bring our students to the community through live streaming, uh, that was very, very powerful. Um, and it meant a lot to people. You know, I, I, I could find you, you know, 15, 20 emails in a matter of seconds of the praise that, that Steve and his students received um, from just community members, you know, grandmothers, parents, aunts, uncles. And I believe it means a lot to our students to be able to offer that opportunity. They get it. They see how they're impacting people. When I first heard about the uh, WITF Teacher Impact Award, I was um, humbled and kind of taken back. And then I immediately thought of uh, how I always feel like one little small part, because there's so many great teachers here, so many great students and staff members, but um, just very, very humbled and glad that the students and I are making a positive difference in, in, at Spring Grove.